Hey everybody, today is Saturday, December 23rd, 2023 in sunny San Diego, California, and I'm Captain Perry here with you. If you're new to the channel, beside me here is a scow bow mini cruiser that I'm building. Basically, my mission here is to build a strong, trailerable, 14-foot sailboat that's watertight and custom built to cross oceans. Now, if you watched the last episode, you saw me put the port side large deck panel on the boat and I fiberglass the top of it on a flat table and then I placed it on the boat so that it could cure matching perfectly the compound curve of the deck there. Now what surprised me was it was still pretty floppy when I took it off since just one side was fiberglassed and laying it on the table here you can see it just kind of went flat again. So it's not too big of a problem. I'm just gonna prop it up with some wood while I fiberglass the bottom of it. But I think when I do this again on the mirrored starboard side panel, I'm gonna do a different game plan. I'll lay it out flat from the beginning, but I'll fiberglass the bottom instead of the top first. So I'll fiberglass the bottom and let that cure, and then I'll lay it on the boat. It'll still bend to meet that curve. And then while it's on the boat, I'm just gonna fiberglass it right there and the bottom and the top will be done at once. But anyway, we gotta get the port side done first before we can move on to the starboard side. So let's get to work. Oh, and before I forget, of course, I'm still trying to meet that goal of getting to 10,000 subscribers. It's going slow and steady, but we are getting there. So if you're new here and you're not subscribed, please do that for me. All right, let's get to work now. Okay, I've manually curved this panel with a couple pieces of plywood under here, like this. And I've got this curve. Do I know for sure this will work? No, but we're going to discover together. So, all right, I'm gonna fiberglass the bottom now. Okay, I've just finished fiberglassing the underside of this panel. And then after it cures, We'll see how it fits. Nice. I think we can make this work. Okay, I've added thickened epoxy on the edges here. And now I'm going to rest the deck panel on it. All right, I got my deck panel on there with a lot of lead weight in order to make it fit on perfectly. And admittedly, if I'd have done it right, it wouldn't require all that weight, but that's okay. We learn and we'll do better on the starboard side. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I've just finished hitting the deck panel with my orbital sander with a 60 grit pad. Now I'm going to go over with 120 grit with my hand and just get the edge just right. All right, I'm inside the cabin now. It looks quite different with the deck on. What I'm doing right now is putting some masking tape along this seam you see here. And that's just to keep any epoxy from dripping through because I'm gonna put some thickened epoxy on the other side to fiberglass that seam. All right, guys, I'll show you here. I've got a nice big fillet of thickened epoxy on the seams, on the inboard seam and the forward seam of this panel. And I haven't bothered to smooth it down because immediately I'm going to go ahead and put the fiberglass on these two seams. So I'll do that now and show you the results. Okay, those two seams are done up here on the foredeck. And then all the way back aft, just on the inboard side, I broke it into pieces to make it more manageable. So next, I got to do the outboard side here. And I got to do back here, frame C5 onto that deck panel. And you can see on top here, I even wrapped over the edge here a little bit, a good inch. Okay, now I've got all my fiberglass set up for part two, where I'm going to get the aft end of C5 here onto the deck, and then this whole seam up to frame C2 at the bow. Now, up until now, the back side of frame C5 only has six ounce cloth on it. So, in doing this seam of the deck onto C5, I'm also going to come all the way down to the aft deck and all the way down here just to add more reinforcement. So this will get a uh, two layers of 10 ounce cloth and a layer of six ounce cloth.
Okay, I've just finished fiberglassing this part and a lot of work. I'm really glad I decided to break this into two parts so it was a little bit easier to do. Today's New Year's Eve, so for you it's already 2024, a happy new year to you. And actually the passing of Christmas Day represented 800 days since I began this boat build. But I think 2024 is finally the year that we're going to get this in the water. If you'd like to support the project, you can join Patreon. And as a benefit, you get to watch videos 24 hours in advance. Or there's links to things like PayPal and the Amazon wish list down in the description. Guys, I just want to thank you for watching. And if you will, please leave a like on this video and a comment. And I will see you guys next time. Just one hour to make all preparations for getting underway. Hey, yeah. Uh... Hey, what's that? Home. Home, get back to your station. I'll have you shot from here. Well, shoot some.